John is playing with his friends in the playground. A rival team challenges them to play a game of cricket. But they need a new cricket kit to play the match. So, all of them decide to pool in money from their piggy banks. Look, how much money have they collected? They have collected 1,400 rupees. They go to a sports shop to buy the cricket kit. John and Peter both like a bat which has a price tag of 225 rupees and 50 paise. How much money do they have to pay if they buy two such bats? Two bats will cost rupees 225 and 50 paise into two. It is not simple multiplication of two numbers except that we have paise as well after the decimal. Let us check how this can be done. Assume the decimal point is not there and do the normal multiplication starting from the digit in the ones place. 2 into 0 is 0. 2 into 5 is 10. Write the number 0 below and carry forward 1. 2 into 5 is 10. And the carry 1 to this to get 11. Write the number 1 below and carry over 1 to the next column. Now, take the product 2 into 2 which is equal to 4. Add the carry 1 to 4 to get 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. Now, multiply 2 with the number 2 to get the product 4 and write the number below. In the first number, the decimal point was before the digit in the tens place. Put a decimal point in the same place for the product that is before the tens position. So, two bats will cost rupees 451. John and his friends go to the counter where the balls are being sold. Each ball has a price tag of rupees 180, rupees 225, rupees 250, etc. But there is an offer going on for the sale of balls. Buy three balls for rupees 420. The boys are tempted to buy the balls from the sale. How can they find the price of each ball in the sale? Yes, they can get the price by dividing 420 by 3. 420 divided by 3 is 140. So, it would cost rupees 140 per ball if they buy the ones on sale. The boys still have to buy the remaining items, but they are not sure whether the money is sufficient to buy all the items. So, John takes his diary and prepares a list of required items along with their prices. The cost of one bat is rupees 225 and 50 paise. One ball costs rupees 140. One set of stumps costs rupees 75. One pair of hand gloves will cost rupees 150 and they want to just buy one pair. One pair of knee pads will cost rupees 200 and they again want to buy just one pair. Use a pen and paper and find the total cost of each item and the final total. To find the total cost of each item, we have to multiply the price of one unit of an item with the total number of units bought. So, two bats will cost rupees 451. The cost of three ball will be 140 
into 3 which is equal to rupees 420. The cost of two stumps will be 2 into 75 which is equal to 150. Only one pair of hand gloves is bought. So, total cost is rupees 150. Similarly, one pair of knee pads is bought. So, total cost is rupees 200. To add the price of all items, we write them vertically one below the other and start adding from the ones place. The total cost of all items purchased is rupees 1371. Does this bill fit into their budget? Yes, since the amount rupees 1371 is less than the amount rupees 1400, they are well within their budget. The boys buy all the required items from the shop. The cashier of the shop hands over a receipt of their purchases. John verifies the receipt with his list. Oh, it is exactly the same amount. Now, John hands over rupees 1400 as he does not have the exact change. What amount does the cashier pay back? This can be found by subtracting rupees 1371 from rupees 1400. This is equal to rupees 29. The cashier hands over rupees 29 to John. <music>